Alrighty folks, welcome back. I got this son of a bitch. War horse. War horse. We're going on a little ride. Yes, we are. What's he paying you? I'll give you a double. Come on. Freedom, bitch. Man, I'm surprised he has not fallen off. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Here you go, Seth. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak. I ain't telling you shit. Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you uh, up uh, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. <laughs> Shut up, Marson! I want to come to a bona fide man's flesh. Ain't never come to a live one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It, it, it's an odd fellow's rest. Uh, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. Good. Creepy bastard. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. Yeah. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You okay. work for help me with the Moses. Uh, come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Uh, uh, okay. Come on. Ain't no time to be wasting. Yeah, I know. Will this clear my name? Yes, it will. There, I did it, Seth. You crazy son of a bitch. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask. No problem, mister. fucking crazy ass son of a bitch that I've ever fucking met in my life. <laughs> I mean, how fucking more crazy can he fucking be? There's a question mark. What is the question mark? Auction. Yeah, I'll talk to this fucker. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the man, sound of that? Man, what the hell is wrong with you, bud? Capital T. That's just capital. Well, fuck you, Whatever dude. You say. <laughs> Cold, Come on, man. What the hell are you doing here, dude? The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Creepy. Yeah, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. Okay. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. Good. <laughs> uh, you're kind of crazy, bud. Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> What are you doing out here, Jimmy? Yeah. Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's oh, yeah? action I'm after, and action I'm going to find, too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> Right. Well, fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. Good. I tell you, mister, the time of my little old life. <laughs> You're fucking weird, dude. You're fucking weird. Give me the hell out of this fucking place. I have more adventure and hijinks to procure. Climb right up! 
Yeah. Hang on to your artillery. Uh, where the hell is West Dickens at, I guess? I guess. Yeah. Let's just fucking go to fucking West Dickens and let's get this bullshit over. Before I call it a day. Goddamn fucking train. <laughs> We're stopped. Might as well stretch your legs. Oh, Mr. West Dickens. Really, dude? You couldn't get your fucking thing unstuck? I'll save the game up. A uh, fucking drunk asshole here. Yeah, I'd like to resave that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> At least this way, Dickens should be here. Got another five fucking bucks. Fuck that. Oh, Mr. West Dickens, there you are, you son of a fucking asshole. Liars, cheats, and other proud Americans. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm alright. Fuck you, Wes. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth. He's fucking creepy. Yes, interesting fellow. You don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. Wes Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that yeah, school. I doubt that, that, that he comes from that. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull and feeding the vultures myself. Now you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. Fuck you, dude. You creepy bastard. I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um... Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves is money. Money? What are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. <laughs> sell cures? <laughs> Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Yeah, I do. No, the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. Come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. Now, sir, you got 